Hey folks, this is Josh Taylor with Trade Advisor Pro, and I'm shooting out this little video here for you as a, kind of a response to a, a couple of questions that we seem to get over and over again. And I'm guessing that what's going on is a lot of customers are signing up for our unbelievable signal service. Uh, this is, as I'm writing this, it is Saturday, uh, February 18th. We are up almost 800 pips for the month. Woohoo! Which is typical. We've changed our, our change, trading strategy and started adding some different levels of trades rather than just long-term trades we got more into adding swing trades into our arsenal as well and since we have done that we are clearing well over a thousand pips a month and if February continues as it is we'll hit 1500 to 2000 pips for this month but I'm suspecting a lot of these customers are coming on board with us and not watching the training videos and they we because we get the same questions over and over again um, and two of them are the main same same main questions one I think I'm in the trade. I got in too late. Two, my trade never hit. You're saying we got into the trade. My my software never got the trade in. What do I do? And so I'm going to explain these to you. This is just a non-scripted little mini training video, but you need to watch this over and over again, especially if you're if you're having those questions. Um, this video is going to explain um, the the process. So first of all, I want to talk about. There's three different types of types of orders. Okay, and actually, let me pull up a chart here real quick. All right, so here I have a chart of the euro pound, which, by the way, we've been trading very successfully lately. And I want to tell you about the three different order types, which are a market order, a stop order, and a limit order. In fact, when you go back to, I'm using FX Solutions GTS software. And when you use this software, there are th three types of orders. <clears throat> okay, in fact, let me change the instrument here. So, um, oops, hold on a second. All right, I'm back here. Okay, so here we have the euro pound. Okay, this is what we're talking about here. So, when you click on the euro pound, and you click on order selection, you see that you have market orders. You can you can buy at market or sell at market. A stop order, order, which is you can buy or sell it, stop, and an, an entry to limit, which is buy or sell at limit. So let's go over on a chart so I can explain the difference, and because this is going to tie in to why we, we've we've had more than one customer say, "Hey, I think I already missed these trades. I don't understand what I'm doing." Well, first of all, you haven't watched training videos, <laughs> or you would understand what you're doing wrong. Okay, but. Uh, let's just go through this again. This is a quick video, so that way everybody can see this, and then I can urge everybody, and then they'll realize wh why everybody needs to go back and watch those training videos. Now, so let's take this euro pound trade. Okay, let's start with what's called a stop, a market order. Let's start with a market order. Very simple. Okay, now this is Saturday, so that you're not going to see the charts moving. Price is not going to be moving because um, FX Solutions is brokerage firm is currently closed. Now. A market order. Let's take a typical order here. All right, so we're going to use one of the trades. In fact, these are actually real signals we that we sent out for the last few days. I think this one we sent out a week ago, but we're live in this trade, live in this trade. I had to check on the other ones. Um, that I think we're waiting on some of these to hit. Uh, we may be in at Euro, US dollar. I haven't actually checked this morning on what happened to the market last night. But um, let's take this trade right here. Okay, this is since we're looking at the euro pound chart. Let's take this as an example, and we'll show you how to do um, these orders at at this with this point level, this point. So, first of all, we said we're going to enter it at 82, uh, uh, 88. Now, all of the orders that we sent, and listen here, listen closely. All of the orders that we send you are limit buys, and for say if we say buy at so and so price, it is buy at entry limit, or if we say sell, it is sell. At entry limit, and I'll explain why here in a minute. But let's go back to this trade. So we said to buy at 82.88. The stop was 81.73, and the profit target was 83.88. Okay. So 81.73 is the stop. Let's go to my charts. 80. What was it again? 81.73 is the stop. Okay, 81.73, which is right around. It's off this chart. It's way under here. I, I don't. Uh, let me see if I can zoom this up here a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Oops, wrong way. Okay, so 
is where my stop is right there. Okay, and I always color this red. The limit on that trade is 83.88. This is our profit target. This is where we're looking for when this trade hits that point is when it sells and it closes out at a nice profit. The stop is <coughs> where the, if the trade went against us and it did not work out, this closes out our trades at a loss, yes, but we control the loss rather than, I mean, you never know, folks. I mean, we don't, we don't hold a crystal ball. The, the, this, any currency pair could just take a nosedive for eternity for no given reason without our, our previous knowledge. I mean, we don't, I don't think people realize that we're not, um, um, we, we don't sit there and, and rub a crystal ball every day and figure things out. When we choose trades, we choose trades based on the highest probability potential trades for winning. Um, and so far, like for, for this example, this month we've had 16 trades that we've either won, won or lost, 14 wins and two losses. Now that's unheard of because we have a system that works. But we've gotten in a bunch of trades that we've closed out at break even as well. Because we didn't like the way the market was turning, but uh, those were that was meant to to protect our downside. So our, our stop loss is here. And profit target is eighty three eighty eight. So that is oh right where that marks at right there. This one, this green one. So that's what we're looking for. Now we bought around here. So our goal was to buy in this green mark. I'm trying to zoom this in. With, still keep that stop in there. I can't. The stop's way down there. Okay. So we'll just have to zoom it in so you can see. Okay, our goal was to buy right at the right here. Okay, you can see it's been in this nice little channel. Buy here, sell. But we we've been playing this trade for weeks now. To buy here, which we did, and we want to close up here. Now let's come up halfway. Okay, now here's a, let me show you something else. If you're ever in a trade like this, and and we come down and it takes us in, and the price moves up, and you're halfway up. If you're up in pips and you're in a profit. You can close the trade any time you want. You don't have to wait till it hits the line. There's been times, folks, that, that in fact, look at this this day. The, the day, I, well, how about this day right here? See this? It came almost up to the line and then came back down. Eventually, the next day, it was shot back up. But but the point is, is if, you, if you're in pips, take the pips. If you want to wait until it gets really close to the target or, or it hits the target and, and you want to make this to set it or forget it, feel free. But you'll see many times I'm in a trade and I see the market hesitating up in this area. I take the trades for up 100 pips. I'll take them. That's 100 pips, folks. So you don't have to just be, this isn't some black and white. Here, here. We're entering here, entering there. Okay? So let's talk about the three orders and I'll get into that because I have a customer who asked a couple questions and I'm sure other people have those questions as well. So let's start with the three order types first before we get into all the details and explain the difference. Now, let's take a market order. Let's go back to our little trade. Okay, and we said to get into 82.88, we put the stop, put the target. Okay, but let's say that price at this point um, never comes down to 82.88. You think we think this is a great trade? You you love what the trade potential is on this trade? It's been trading in a range, and you're thinking, man, this thing may not come all the way down to 82.88. But it's at 83.01, that's pretty dang close. That is, what, 13 pips away? So you may decide, you know what, I'm going to get in now at the current price at 83.01. So this would be what's called a market order, okay? We're getting in whatever the price is currently right now. We're getting in, you still put this, use the same stop and, and limit. But you can get it getting in at market price. Now I'm going to go to the GTS software. You'll see that like every brokerage is going to be different. Um, in fact, so right here it's showing to buy the euro pound. It's actually getting into 8307 because there's a pip spread of four pips here. But we'll get into that in a different training. But anyway, so you would buy whatever, and you had to choose your lots. That is going to be in the equity management videos. Okay. But you're buying at 8307. Okay? You have to choose how many lots. And then once you enter, in fact, let's just say one. After you enter, then you come over here. See, we're in the market. We're live in this trade right now. Okay, just just because the market says it's not closed doesn't mean that you can't trade the Forex market. Okay, then you you click on so you're clicking on it's somewhere in here, right? You put stops and limits. You put your stop in and your limit in. 
Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to cancel this trade out here. Let's, del let's close. Boom. Okay. So I hope you understand the explanation of a market order. And folks, let me tell you, when we send out any of these signals, here's what our suggested entry rate is, okay? Stops and the, the profit targets are, are right on, okay? Now you can pull out, again, like we said, if price, if you get in this trade and price starts going up, 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 and you're up 40, 50 pips, instead of waiting for it to hit 100 pips, like we've got scheduled for this trade or whatever, take it. Feel free. I mean, people ask me, well, do we have to sit there and wait? You can do whatever you want. We're nothing but an educational service offering you perspective on where the market's at, what the best opportunities are, tr market training videos. You have to choose how you want to you want those trades to play out. So if you're in and this trade goes halfway out and you want to close, close it out. Make make some money, make your pips, and be, be fine with it. And the same is going to go with your entry point. If you decide you don't want to wait till it gets to entry, or you're if you're live on a chart, or if you're live in the trading platform, and, and you're concerned that it, price isn't going to come all the way down, because a lot of times, folks, prices come down within one or two pips from taking us into a into a trade, and never worked out, and it drove 200 pips. We would have kicked some serious butt, but it never hit. So you're welcome to enter at market rather than waiting for the price to drop all the way down. Does it make sense? Okay. So let's talk about the other type of trade, which is called a stop order, okay? So a stop order would be something a little bit different. Now let's say that, now by the way, stop orders we never take. Stop orders are based on what we call momentum trading, which I believe um, is probably the best way to get slaughtered in the market. I just don't believe in the way it works. It doesn't work at all, in my opinion. So a stop order is, say, price is here. And we think momentum on this trade is going to go up, 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 right? So we're saying if price can break, see, so we can see a major resistance point right here, right? Major resistance right around the 8,400 mark. This, this thing is having a very difficult time breaking through that. A stop order would be if the market would break through, was able to penetrate its, this mark and break through, we would put an order, so as soon as it goes up, 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 and hits this order, we, we, we take the trade in. The problem with that is, because of this, the way the currency pairs trade, the reality is, if this thing broke through, it's most likely going to come up, take our order in, and bounce back down anyway. You see what I'm saying? So the reality is, in my opinion, stop orders are very, very, very risky. The way we trade is we're like for instance we're seeing that this currency pair has been in this little channel this in two channels is actually a, a little bit of a trend going here see right and the sideways channel so this is what's called a pennant now ultimately this thing is going to squeeze in and the and highest probability is it's going to do, it's going to depend what's going to happen this thing is going to break out and shoot up or down and, and it's going to create a new channel but for now we're playing this channel okay so a stop order would be if if we thought price was going to break through and continue going. We don't do stop orders. And we had a question on the customer we'll get into it here in a little bit on the euro yen. And I think they think we're doing stop orders, but we're not. We only do limit orders. What we want is for price to drop down. If this thing is trending up, we're expecting this where we want to we're looking for a buy position. We want the, the pair to drop down to reverse itself for to for a good setup which we did right here again we've bought and sold this trade several times sold a couple times here bought several times through here very profitable trades we've won every single one in the last few weeks but we waited for this trade to break down so we could take a good entry for price to shoot back up okay that is called an entry uh, limit order so forget that we're I'm running ahead of myself We're on stop orders. Forget the stop orders. You're never going to enter a stop order ever. Okay? Now let's talk about the the next uh, type of order, which is how when we send these trade signals to you, this is the trade signals that we're sending to you unless otherwise noted. Now sometimes we'll say, get in the, get in this trade this, right now. That's called an, 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 an a sorry about that, a market order. But when it gives you parameters, here's the entry point. Here's the stop loss, and here's our profit target. These are entry limit orders, okay? 
boom, you're going to buy at entry or you're going to sell at entry. All right. So, of course, you can go back to the training videos. The training videos in the members area and on our YouTube channel explain the entire process of entry orders. But here it is in a nutshell. I think I just explained it to you, but I'll explain it again. Let's say price is hovering around here. I send you a trade signal. In fact, let me give me give me a second. I wanted to pull up a different chart. I wanted to pull up the euro yen because we actually had a customer. I'll show you the exact trade. That's the euro pound. Uh, where's it? Where's my trade at? Euro USD. Euro pound. Okay. Okay. So here it is. Okay. So here it is. We actually got a, a customer that sent us an email. And it was particularly about this trade, but they're having problems with this trade. They're saying they're they told me that they're feeling like they're getting in these trades too late. Okay, and because you know price on this thing, we said here's what we said. We said buy the euro pound at 102.88 to put a stop at 99.09, and profit target was 103.12. So we basically said we were to get. We've got we've played this trade several times and done well. We wanted in the current price. It was yesterday, I think, or a couple of days ago. But the current price was somewhere up in this range, and in, in, in the 103.40s or, or something like that. So we said at that point, we said we want you to buy here. Stop loss is way down in here, okay? Very because we have multiple turning points of, of opportunities that we'd had to break through. Um, several support levels that we had to break through to get stopped out. And this currency pair can move fast. You can see in a couple of days it's taken off almost five, 300 pips. So we want to make sure we have a, tight, a big stop. But in this case, the pair, the currency was trading up in this range here. Our goal, because this is a limit order, right? And we're seeing this thing is trending up, 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 up. So we do not want to sell this pair. Selling here was fine. Because it was it, it was in a in, in a range, but now it's breaking out of that range solid, and this thing is going to keep screaming forward a little bit. So, but while it was here, we since we're trending up, we we only want to buy this pair. But to buy, you can't just buy here because it's going to pull back. See if you notice, price does never shoot straight up. It goes up, down, up, down, up, down, so consolidate up. Eventually, this thing will move down. Same thing, down, down, sideways, down, up, down. It, it moves in cycles. So we need for this pair to pull back, to drop down, for us to get an entry point for a shoot up. Okay, that's the, that's the safest route to go. So price was around here, and they said, "Hey, we never got into this trade because it was already up here." Here's the point they miss. We though the trade was currently trading around here. When we say put in a trade at 10202, we mean put an entry buy entry limit. <clears throat> okay, on 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 the euro. Yeah, I don't have to have that pulled up, but you would put in a buy entry limit on the euro yen, not not the euro pound. I had to pull change that chart up. I don't want to feel like doing that right now. Um, so we wanted price to drop, just like it kept doing. See, it kept dropping down. We expected price to drop down to the 102 mark, okay, and take us up to a profitable area where we could close out for a profit, which was probably right, right around this area. So they were concerned that, hey, we're, we're too late. No, 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 you were never too late. The price was up here. We wanted price to drop down, take us into the entry, and shoot up into a profit target. You understand? Now let's do it again. I'm going to do this a couple of times because we get we get this question a lot. And if people watch the training videos, they would have gotten the answers to this and understood this. But when we when we send out a trade, we never say if, if the currency price is here, we never say here's the price. We should buy here, and our profit target's here. That is a stop order. One, two, three. Our price, if we're buying a currency pair, our, the current price is always going to be above. When we send out the signal, it's always going to be above the price we want, want you to buy because we want price to drop down, take us into our trade, and spike back up. That is our goal. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay? A stop order is boom, boom, boom. We do not do those stop orders at all. Okay? If price was down here, we'd be saying sell at 102. Boom, because we're expecting it to drop. Okay? So, again, price was here. We wanted it to drop down.
take us into a trade and shoot back up. Okay, does that make sense? Market entry order. Okay, if you have any questions on this, send us a ticket to support at tradeadvisorpro.com. We'd be glad to answer you. So I want to look at one more little order. In fact, I'm, I'm not going to get into all the all these other orders. I'll get into some other orders here in a little bit and show you kind of how to enter these. But let's talk about one more thing. And, and uh, let me find this. I think it was to Euro Pound. No, that's to Euro USD. The customer had a question on this. <coughs> uh, no, 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 no. It was. Let me go back to my little list here. The Euro Swissy. Okay. The, we had a customer who asked us a question on the Euro Swiss, and I, gee, many, just trying to find this thing. <laughs> it's right in front of my face. Okay, <clears throat> so here was our order. It was to buy the Euro Swiss at 102.61, and here's our stop. Here's our target. Forget that because this is this is the main question here is on the entry, and the what happened is on my chart, <clears throat> the price came all the way down. As you can see, we waited for this thing to come down. We're looking to sell out up in this range. And the price came down and took us in. I can't even know if it's this day or this day. I think it was right here, one of these days. It took us into our, our price, into our target at 102.61. Now my charts say, let me cancel that out. My chart says uh, it came down to 102.62, 102.62. But actually, my trading platform came down to 102.61. Took just one perfect right on the dot took us into our trade and now we're starting to work our way up. Now, the reality is that your every brokerage platform out there is different. You may one brokerage pl platform may be quoting you at 102.61, while another one's at 102.65, another one's at 102.58. Um, okay, it could be a few pips below. So once in a while, when the market comes literally down within one or two pips of our um, our p potential entry that we're trying to get in, one person's software may take them into the trade, live into the trade, and another person's software may not actually broke. Um, when I mean software, I mean brokerage firm. Um, the other, the, the, another client's brokerage firm may not actually take them into the trade. Okay, so because we've got questions on that, hey, I showed that we're live into this Euro Swiss, but my we we came within one pip of taking me in, and I didn't get in. So uh, this customer asks, what should I do? And I said, basically told him that um, anywhere in this area, okay, anywhere in this area here, that if you're close and, and, and price doesn't seem to be taking you in, feel free to enter. I think he got in at 102.63. Okay, so he was like two pips above what we planned, but now he's in a profitable, profitable trade. So at that point, he went in instead of doing an entry limit on this Euro Swiss, okay, instead of doing an entry limit by entry limit he did it by at market at one or two it came in at one or two sixty three he just took it and then went back and entered his stop same stops okay and same same profit targets <clears throat> but that's one way so if you're sitting there and you're concerned that um, the currency pair is not going to go all the way down to take us into the trade and you feel like you're going to miss a trade you can enter at any time using uh, a market order and then you still use the same stops and limits unless otherwise we say. But of course, this currency pair, we're pro projecting it to go way up here. And uh, <clears throat> at any time, if it goes up 100 pips and you're sitting there and you want to pull the profit out, feel free. If you want to close half your profit out, feel free. All right? That's up to you. You can manage these trades any way you want. We're just giving you guidelines. So <clears throat> let's go through. I want to show you how to enter a couple of these trades. Okay, let's take the... Euro USD buy at 103.26. I'm just going to show you how to enter one trade and then we'll uh, we'll finish up. Okay, so let's pull up the Euro USD chart. Let's just make sure we're not beyond that point. Already, Euro Swiss. Okay, I got all these Euro charts here. Euro USD. Okay, so right now, let's say price is at 31.41. Okay. What we're going to do is, and we say that uh, 103026, so we're going to enter. So look, price is up here. You didn't miss a trade. We want price to drop down to take us in our order so we can go up to our profit target. You understand? So price is currently above. So if we're buying a currency pair, which we are, then price, for a do, to do a limit order, price has to be currently above, higher than the actual price. 
because it needed to drop down. I'm trying. I know I'm burnt, beating a dead horse here, people, but I pretty much have to. I need to make sure you guys understand this because we have this question all the time. So I think it was um, 103026. So we end up doing on the Euro USD. We do a buy entry at 103. 13026. Okay. We submit. And our stop was uh, 12872. 12872. And our profit target is 13188, which is called the limit 3188. Push save, push exit, and the order is now pending. Now, when price comes down to 103, I'm, I'm sorry, 130.26, our entry, it will take us in. We're in a buy position, and we want price to go up. See how it's been in a range? We to go back up, close us out on a nice profit, and we're good to go. All right? So there you go, folks. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, contact us at support at tradeadvisorpro.com. And our support team is unbelievable. They're very quick on getting getting you taken care of. And worst case scenario, if we need to get you on Skype to guide you through, we'll do this. We'll do it. Whatever we need to do to, to make sure you're successful with this. So, you have a great one.